so we went to stop that vehicle for um, the speeding violation. He didn't want to stop. Interstate 10 crosses into Pinal County, 71 miles north of the U.S.-Mexico border. We're going to show you some of the issues we deal with every day that are related to border crimes. This is 71 Miles of Running. Come back here. Come back here. You got him? Why are you running? I was just trying to get them out. Yeah, but now you're going to go to jail now. No ID? No ID. Do you have a wallet or anything, man? No. Are you a U.S. citizen? Yes. Okay, where did you get down, but I have um, I'm not, I don't want to answer any more questions. Okay, cool, but you need to tell me your name. Why okay. do I need to tell you my name? Uh, because you're lawfully detained, that's why. Fortunately, this one kind of went off the exit, so he decided to go off road. But generally, if they stay on the freeway or whatever, you know, you never know what can happen. Well, one of the group decided he wanted to take out run, and it looks like they caught up to him over there, so it happens all the time. We usually catch him. One time I had like 10 people jump out of the truck all at the same time and you know I can only grab so many. We've contacted ICE, they're gonna hopefully come and talk to the the load and see what's going on there and then uh, this guy where he didn't stop he's gonna go to jail now for unlawful flight.